Hello, I'm Wan Pengli from Tencent Cloud. I'm working on KVM for eight years. Today, I will introduce some synchronization problems in KVM. This is today's agenda. First one is boost printed vCPU in user mode. The second one is vCPU stack issue. The last one is RCU reader preemption problem. Synchronization operations in kernel is based on busy waiting. However, unnecessary CPU consumption by busy waiting for the scheduled vCPU will significantly degrade performance. For example, TLB shutdown, remote TLB flash, does a busy wait which is fine in experimental scenario, but within the guest, the VCPU might have been printed or blocked. In this scenario, the initiator VCPU would end up busy waiting for a long amount of time. It also consumes CPU on Necessarily to wake up the target of the shutdown. There is a semantic gap here. OS make liberal use of busy waiting since they believe their VCPU are dedicated. There is another preemption problem called the log holder preemption. It arises when a log holder running on vCPU is preempted by the hardware, thus forcing other log waiter threads running on other vCPUs from the same VM to perform useless spinning and to waste CPU cycles. Intel since Westermere introduced pulse loop exiting. The processor compares the length of the two ports instruction interval against a pre-site parameter. It determines that the VCV is spinning if the length doesn't exceed this parameter. Otherwise, the spinning stops. The spinning VCPU yields the processor to a VCPU that can make progress when the spinning interval exceeds a preset spinning threshold. The KVM searches the vCPU other than the vCPU that is just printed follow the circle. Most SMP call function many calls are synchronous, mainly TLB flash and the function call interrupts. Both the log holder and API target vCPU are yield candidates now. Intel post loop exiting occurs when the spin lock waiter is in kernel mode. However, API receiver can be in either kernel or user mode. API receiver candidate in user mode fails to be boosted. Workload like TBZIP2 do the TLB shutdown in kernel mode, and most of the time they are running in user mode. In oversubscribed scenario, it can lead to a large number of continuous PLE events. API sender calls post loop exciting events repeatedly until the receiver is scheduled while the receiver is not candidate for a boost. Let's boost the vCPU candidate in user mode, which is delivering interrupt. We can observe 10% performance improvement while running PBZIP2 in 96 vCPU VM in another oversubscribed environment.
Next one is vestibule stack by Wicker Fine. Wicker Fine is a feature inside the scheduler which we attempt to make processes running closely. It gains benefit mostly from cache hit. When QMI or other vCPU inject virtual interrupts to guests through waking up when sleeping vCPU, it increases the probability to stack vCPUs or QMU by scheduler wake up fine. A scheduler allows vCPU to be scheduled on any physical CPUs. This will cause the vCPU stack problem that the log waiter is scheduled before the log holder on the same physical CPU. Let's take this figure as an example. The log holder on vCPU 0 is printed when it enters the critical section at time 1. Unfortunately, the log waiter on VCPU 1 is scheduled before VCPU 0 on the same physical CPU, physical CPU 0, until time 2. Thus, VCPU 1 has to wait time lock wait to enter the critical section. Here, the synchronization time spent by VCPU 1 is extended by time task 1 plus time task 2. Let's see how often does scheduler stack vCPUs. We can run 4 vCPU VM, VMs on 4 physical CPU machines, run the CPU bound workload inside the VM, 100% utilization on each vCPU. The vCPUs are easily to be stacked in oversubscribed scenarios. Let's disable wake up fine vCPU process to mitigate log holder permission. We test three 80, uh, 80 vCPU VMs running on 180 physical CPUs scaling server. The EBZ score can increase 17% after disabling wake up fine for ACU process. RCU grace period in a guest cannot complete while vCPU is printed within a RCU reader side critical section. Thus, calls to synchronize RCU function cannot return. Although calls to call RCU function continue to return immediately, their callbacks cannot be invoked. Linux kernel code can therefore continuously invoke call RCU function, resulting in an unbounded quantity of memory that cannot be reused until the grace period completes. When comparing between the RCU reader preemption and log holder preemption, well, the usual symptom of log holder preemption is to hang all, all part of the system. RCU reader preemption instead bloats memory footprints. Techniques to handle log holder preemption, such as Intel hardware, Post loop exiting feature can detect a VCPU spinning on a block. However, these techniques cannot be applied directly to RCU because RCU's server build reset primitives do not make any state change detectable by hypervisor or hardware. Thanks, everybody.